Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm talking about attribute, class, and style bindings. Using these bindings, you can improve accessibility, dynamically style your application, and update classes on the fly. First, let's talk about attribute binding. Attribute binding in Angular helps you set values for attributes directly. It is recommended that you set an element property with a property binding whenever possible. However, sometimes you don't have an element property to bind. In those situations, you can use attribute binding. Attribute binding syntax resembles property binding, but instead of an element property between brackets, you precede the name of the attribute with prefix attr followed by a dot. Then, you set the attribute value with an expression that resolves to a string. Another common use case for attribute binding is with the call span attribute in tables. Binding the call span attribute helps you keep your tables programmatically dynamic. Depending on the amount of data that your application populates a table with, the number of columns that a row span could change. To use attribute binding with the td attribute call span, specify the call span attribute by using this syntax. Set attribute call span equal to an expression. In this example, we bind the call span attribute to the expression 1 plus 1. This binding causes the table row to span two columns. Sometimes there are differences between the name of property and an attribute. Call span is an attribute of a table row, while call span with the capital S is a property. When using attribute binding, use call span with a lowercase s. For more information on how to bind to the call span property, Check out the video about the property binding. Now, let's move to class binding. You can use class binding to add and remove CSS class names from an elements class attribute. To create a single class binding, use the prefix class followed by a dot and the name of the CSS class. Angular adds the class when the bound expression on sale is truthy. And it removes the class when the expression is falsy, with the exception of undefined. To bind the multiple classes, use class set to an expression. The expression can be one of a space delimited string of class names, an object with class names as the keys, and 30 or falsy expressions as the values. an array of class names. With the object format, Angular adds a class only if its associated value is truthy. And finally, let's talk about style binding. You can use style binding to set styles dynamically. To create a single style binding, use the prefix style followed by a dot and the name of the CSS style property. Angular sets the property to the value of the bound expression which is usually a string. Optionally, you can add a unit extension like m or percentage, which requires a number type. You can write a style property name in either dash case or camel case. To toggle multiple styles, bind to the style attribute, the style expression. The style expression can be one of a string list of styles, or an object with style names as the keys and style values as the values. And note that binding an array to style is not supported. And that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions or what would you like to see in the next series or next videos. Make sure to like this video and subscribe so that you don't miss any new upload. Until the next time, stay tuned.